Hi, in this tutorial I'll show you how to create multi-layered keyboard split performances with Blurb to get something like this. As you see, it's a arranger style keyboard split performance. Uh, I have a bass on the left part of my keyboard. And pad sound and arp sound on the right part. My bass is double layered. So first layer is the bass one, lowest bass. and high bass, bass 2. Uh, now the key thing to make ranges work is to use this input range uh, input range truncate setting in Blurb. You see for this instance uh, my bass works only for this range of the keyboard. Here it's silent, it doesn't work, because I set the high value to E4. If I set it back to default, my range is all over the keyboard, and I can set it to any range, for example, E5 and E4. So outside the range it's silent, it ignores the keys, inside the range it works. E4 again. And my two instances of bass are configured the same way. Its input range is uh, up to E4. Uh, to set the value, I forgot to say, you right click it, press MIDI key and it waits for, for input. And I press any key and it's there. E4. Okay. And uh, this uh, Blue Arp is rooted to this instance of Synth1 using FL Studio method. So I go to Blue Arp, output port is 11, it's any number, uh, but uh, input port for a synth is the same, 11. And the key thing is uh, that all these instances of Blue Arp, all these four instances, are getting notes from single MIDI track. In FL Studio, this is a MIDI out device. This is kind of a virtual MIDI out port, which I can set to any number. In my case, it's number 10. Also, I call this master track, because you play the performance from this track. So here we have port number 10, and each instance of Blue Arp gets it notes from input port 10. So I should go to all, all my Blue Arps and set input port to 10. In this case, they all get notes from my master track from my MIDI out track from from this one. And input filter filters out the notes. So for, for the right part, uh, these uh, two instances of blurb, they have input range from F4 to the right. And on the left part, they're silent because here is the bass. And the same thing for synth sound. Here it's silent, because input range is from F4 to the right. Okay, and another trick for a pad sound. I have this ARP enabled unchecked, because I want my pad uh, to be non arpeggiated It just passes the uh, keys as I press them. Without arpeggiation. If I turn it back on, you see it's it's not the thing I want with a pad sound. So RPGA is off, but MIDI through uh, checkbox is on because it, it passes the notes. If I uncheck this too, Blue Arp will be completely silent. This is the way to switch it off completely, to temporarily switch it off to uncheck these two checkboxes. And now it works just a uh, key range filter, not an RPGA. 
again and finally this is my performance based on the left key pattern synth on the right and uh, now a couple of more tricks with the bass line uh, let's go back to default for the bass track I have it all over the keyboard say I have uh, I want to play chords but I want also to play the bass when I press the chord so here on the right part of the keyboard my bass is too high it goes too high I want to prevent this and I, I use input range wrap setting for this for example if I press uh, set the high value to A4 you see when I go to the next key it transposes it down one octave to fit the range I think even A4 is too high so basically input range I can set the lowest key also input range is basically the range uh, for and within this range my bass uh, plays the right pitch it shouldn't be smaller than one octave you see my bass plays good for the full range of my keyboard okay let's configure bass to the same way so basically what we do now we are changing the performance to uh, from keyboard split to uh, full air performance without keyboard split Okay, F3, F4, the same thing. Pad sound, just remove the input range. So now pad is all over the keyboard. Synth sound, the same thing. Remove the, oh sorry, uh, set default. So now all my four instances of blue arp should uh, play by just pressing one this is another type of performance I can play nearly the same just with one key but now my bass is all, always on the lowest key I can change that with order algorithm for example uh, I can set it to as played descending uh, in this case my bass will be the last key I press in a chord see the trick I just uh, so first I press the chord this way to make a four to make a for the last key I release and press the key again and it makes it the last pressed key and ordering algorithm works and it becomes my base key uh, yeah and finally finally another trick for a baseline let's set it back to default to default okay uh, when I have input range truncate the same way up to E4 and I want keys outside the range to just to pass them non arpeggiated I can change this by going to menu settings input range truncate mode and change it to pass through no arping in this case outside the range it just passes the keys without arpeggiation Okay, let's change it back. 
And this is basically how you create keyboard split multi-layer performances with Blue Arp. Thanks for watching.